Hello and welcome back. So today is another film video. Um, I'm throwing a couple of these in before I get to my next sports photography video um, as I'm still working on one that was picked out in a poll, which is 300 millimeter in basketball. But until then, we're gonna talk about some film. And so in this video, we are talking about the Reflex Lab 400D. How cool is this canister? Nice, cool little metal canister. I bought this down in Dallas on a trip a while back, and I've been trying to figure out what I wanted to shoot or when I wanted to shoot it. And I had a recent trip that I was going on with the football team that I cover sports for. So I thought, why not load it up in the point and shoot and take it along for the trip? So we were going up to Michigan for a playoff game um, for the football team and I loaded it up in my Kodak point shoe and set it to 400. So I started it off at the football, on the football trip, and then I kind of shot it over time. I didn't finish it up there, I only shot like five or six photos on that trip. And then I kind of shot it over a two week period back home and stuff. And I will say one thing about this film that I really love is the colors. I'm curious to see how this compares to Cindy Still's new 400D because when I was looking at the film stock itself coming out of the canister, um, they looked identical. They were both purple, which that might not mean anything. Um, I don't know enough about film and how they should look and stuff, but um, they kind of look the same. And I've only shot 400D from Cine Still and 120, and it was inside self portraits. So I can't really say how it um, correlates or how it does with outside colors, which is what I primarily shot this on. So I also shot some flash stuff, some stuff without flash, some outdoor stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw those images up and here they are. So there they are. The colors are spot on. There wasn't some sort of hue like a, a Fuji green or a Kodak warmth yellow. It was just pretty much straight on what it needed to be. Um, it also did really well with flash indoors with the neon and even without the flash underexposed, the neon was still spot on color wise. I wish 400D for Cine Steel or Reflex Lab wasn't so expensive, but don't we all wish film wasn't so expensive? Um, yeah, you can shoot digital, but I really love the pro the process of film photography. So with that said, I really love this film. Um, hopefully I can try out some of their other film stocks in the future. Um, I saw they had a few others that I would really like to try. So in the future, hopefully I'll have a chance to try that out. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if you'd like to subscribe, and I will see you all next time.